All right, guys. Three, two. The Dybbuk box is a box which is said to be haunted by a Dybbuk. A Dybbuk is a restless, usually malicious spirit, believed to be able to haunt and even possess the living. The box gained notoriety when it was auctioned on eBay with an accompanying horror story. If a Dybbuk box is burned, the box will take a long time to burn, but as it is burned, the Dybbuk is fully released and cannot be returned to the box. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel today. I have the Dybbuk box. I'm going to be opening this, but before this video starts, if you guys could please smash that like button down below, and also subscribe to my second channel I just started, the link will be in the description down below. I'm going to be doing daily vlogs, live streams, all that extra stuff, so if you, so if you guys can, subscribe to that link in the description below, and also smash that like button, really appreciate it. Thank you. Alright, so I've done a lot of paranormal and scary videos back in the day, but nothing really crazy. And I'm very skeptical about all this, and I actually got a message from someone who claims she is a witch, and claims she has dealt with Dybbuk before, and she actually also came in contact with the first Dybbuk box that was ever put up on sale on eBay. So, so she messaged me, and she sent me this link, and she told me that I should check out this Dybbuk box, and she believes that this is something that I should experiment with, and see what happens if I was to open it. So, in the description of this, it says, I have gotten stomach pains from holding it. I have also seen a shadow of a person standing in my home. Also, I've heard of disembodied voices and cold air masses, footsteps, noises. I've had sleep paralysis, vivid nightmares, and frequently woke up to a figure at the foot of the bed. Need to get rid of it now. Please, it's evil. Okay, well that sent chills down my spine, and now it's in my possession, so thank you. Okay, well, here we are. And I've dealt with the Dybbuk box before. Let me tell you, it was a pain in the ass to open it. It took forever because of the wax. Um, so I decided, I just wanna get into this. I'm obviously gonna edit all the cutting and stuff like that out. I just wanna show you the box a little bit. I'm gonna blur out everything else, but on the sides, you're gonna see it says, handle with care. I really hope the camera picked that up. Hold on. I'm not checking that shit out. I am not checking that shit out, but nonetheless. Handle with care, exclamation point, and right on the front of the box, it says fragile. So, so yeah, um, let's get into it. I bought one of these retractable utility knives for like a dollar. Well, that did not go as planned. I jammed the knife. So, um, I'll be right back. I literally have no other option. I have to use a dagger. So. Bear with me, guys. Okay. So. Here she is, guys. She's wrapped around with like ads from like some, I don't know, weekly ad from some store. I assume I see Pringles. Um, let's pull these out. Okay. Let me see how old these are. A whole turkey breast is $1.99. Up a pound. The store is this one. That's not important. This is important. Jesus. Okay. 
That is very heavy. Oh my god. Okay. There's that. Um, one second. What? I could use this so like the wax doesn't go everywhere. Thank you. If you are watching. This is very interesting wrapping. I don't know why, but I'm getting some serious chills from this. Okay. Oh, that feels so weird. Okay. Okay, it's time. Get it. Wait. Kidding me? Put the gloves in. They're kind of dirty. I use these uh, to work on my basement. Okay. Here she is. Wow, guys. I'm going to show you guys some close up pictures of this. Wait, wait. Thumbnail. Yeah, guys, look at that. There's a hand in the middle with like candle wax in the middle. And then all over, you'll see the red candle wax. You'll see white clear candle wax. There's that. Oh, God. All right. Let's get into this. Oh, now, um... Okay. One thing I have noticed is smells disgusting. Oh my god. It smells like a mixture of like cat pee and like old ladies perfume. Like some that you get from like the dollar store. Okay. Whew. I'm gonna cut this bad boy open and um We'll experience it together. So, beer back. It's gonna take me a while. I just don't know what parts to hinge. Got it. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. It's time. It's time for me to open the Divic box. Um, I don't know what to think about this. I don't know what's inside. Um, hold on. my quartz crystal. I'll leave right there. That'll hopefully protect me. Protect me quartz crystal. A lot of people say that's what you do. Nonetheless, let me get the camera and let's open this guy together. So here we are. Alright guys. Three, two, one. 
Okay. Hold on. Okay, got it. Okay. All right. Um. Okay. Let me get my flashlight. So there's a couple of things in here which really do not make sense to me. Um, for starters, we have like candles, it looks like. All right, another piece of it. Here's a purple one. Okay. The most interesting thing to me is this coin. A silver coin that I just can't seem to pick up. Okay, there we go. My camera's having a very hard time to focus. It says St. Michael. And on the back it says, Lord, give us the courage and strength to defeat all enemies. Embrace us with your invincible armor and keep us from harm's way. The thing is, I've seen this coin before. I'm not exactly sure where, but I've 100% seen this coin before. So last thing inside is this little black thing. It looks like a chess piece almost. Like a little one. Interesting. Other than that, that's about it. There's this little thing right here, which it just looks like it's a piece of uh, candle wax broken off. And then there's this, which I have no idea what that is, but maybe there's something in the back of this. No, it doesn't feel like it. Okay. All right, well, uh, that kind of sucks. <laughs> um, that's it, yeah. It's nothing crazy, to be honest, but I still have this like weird like on edge feeling like I feel like someone's watching me and I don't know how to explain it but it's really creeping me out I don't know but um <sighs> okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my camera I'm gonna have it charging all night long and I'm gonna point it about right here-ish my bed's right here and it's gonna point at me all night long and I'm gonna see if I can capture some footage for you guys. And then maybe I'll add that in on a part two kind of video. Um, I want this up for you guys tomorrow. It's currently like two in the morning, I think. I have no idea. But, but yeah, I definitely want this up for you guys tomorrow, somewhere around like 6 p.m. And then if, t and then if a part two is requested by you guys, I'll definitely do it. I'm gonna keep this in my room for now. And um, I'll see if anything happens, guys. Um, nonetheless, Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my second channel down there. The link will be in the description below. And also smash that like button. Follow me on my Instagram. And also, I don't know. I really don't know. This box is making me, f I don't know. This box is giving me a bad vibe. But, uh. Yeah, um, nonetheless, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, peace, see ya.